guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is lexi if you're new then hey if you're existing then hey welcome to my channel so today's video will be a monday makeup video you know on mondays we talk and we make up so today's topic will be staying in your lane and knowing what you're, what you're good at i didn't find a picture that i want to like recreate i just want to do like really smoky sexy eyes and then do just i don't know just like smoky eyes black gold i have it in my mind what i want it to look like so we're just gonna work on our on smoky eyes today so yeah stay tuned love yours all right y'all so i have my more 35 in pattern. love you and i think i'm gonna just do this light brown color for right now i'm gonna start off with that color all right so today's topic is staying in your lane so i i have two little stories for you all i filmed this video literally three times just so y'all know <laughs> literally and i didn't like them either time so i was like okay let me just do it again okay so i was gonna tell you all the story about how i thought i wanted to be a fashion blogger now I like to look at people on Instagram and I'm like, okay, I like the little fashion blogs, the fashion people, people that can put outfits together. I love those type of pages on Instagram. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to start me a fashion blog because I do like fashion. But so I went to the mall, I was shopping. I literally was at the mall like every single day y'all, like every single day shopping for like a week straight, tired as hell trying to figure out outfits didn't even couldn't even find outfits that I liked and I'm just like was over it like and I don't like shopping if you know if you follow if you follow my channel you know I don't like shopping so yeah so we'll talk about that in a minute so I find the outfits I pay my friend Ashley um to do my photos for me for my first like first my content um, I'm thinking of a name for the blog and all this and all that we take pictures it's called this freak outside and it really felt like a daunting task to me like this is just too much it just feels overwhelming and i never posted those pictures i was like yeah i don't want to do a fashion blog i just, it just wasn't fun for me and i feel like a lot of times we see people on instagram or on snapchat doing something and you think that's what you're supposed to be doing because it's something that you like. Just because I like fashion doesn't mean that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. You know? Just because, okay, I like fashion, but I don't like shopping. It just doesn't tie in together. It doesn't. <laughs> so it's just like me trying to start a fashion blog or a fashion Instagram and I don't really like shopping. I don't. I don't like putting shit together. I like to follow the people that do know how to put stuff together so I can give me some little inspiration. But I literally don't like shopping, so it just makes no sense. And I feel like a lot of times we go into shit knowing that you really don't want to do that. Or you kind of like it. You don't like it enough to really, you kind of like it. You don't really like it enough to persevere through. You have to know what you're good at and what you aren't good at. Um, I also was going to tell you all another story about, okay, I did that and I blended it out. So I'm going to go in with this dark shade now, neck right next to it. just going over that same spot but i'm doing it lightly just to deepen it up a little bit so i went when i first was filming this video i had some um washi tape if you don't know what washi tape is it's like used for creative purposes and i was going to like you know how people put tape right here when they put their makeup on because that's how the girl did hers and i was like mm -hmm. i just didn't care for that makeup look so I had bought that washi tape and all this like creative stuff and I went through a phase where I was infatuated with planners and that's just how I am though. I become infatuated with things and then I like okay never mind this ain't for me. I bought a planner I did all this and then I realized like no I don't really like doing this so no I don't think this is something that I want to do. And if you don't know planners, planners are like it's a whole planner community like people love planners people trade things they buy certain things for that planner planners can can cost a lot of money as well i think the planner i bought i found it for cheap for like 60 dollars but it's normally like a hundred something dollars and i feel like we waste a lot of our time on shit that you know that you're not supposed to be doing 
if something doesn't feel right to you, which I feel like is your intuition, and a lot of people aren't in tune with their intuition, but you knowing yourself, you have to get in tune with your intuition just in general. Um, you kind of can figure out, you know, I don't really like this, or do I really like this? Like, I make YouTube videos. I know that I like making YouTube videos. Um, it ties into my assets and what I'm good at. I'm good at talking to people. I'm good at helping people. I'm good at certain stuff. And that ties into my YouTube videos. You have to know what you're good at. Everything that everybody else is doing is not always what you're supposed to be doing. And it will always show in your work when you're not doing what when you are really not passionate about what you're doing. Period. That's how you have all those people that like sell hair but their customer service is horrible. They sell whatever and their customer service is horrible because they're not operating in what they really want to do. I always said that whatever I sold, I wanted to be passionate enough about it to sell it. If I'm not passionate about it, I don't want to sell it, period. Because when when shit gets hard and when shit gets hard and you have to persevere through, you're going to buckle. People will always tell on themselves. They always tell on themselves. Whether it's through their attitude, whether it's through their customer service, no matter what it is. If you really want to do something, you will persevere to the end of it. If you don't really want to do it, you won't, period. They're just like people that go to school for nursing. And you know for a fact that you don't even like people. You know for a fact, but you're going to school for nursing for the money. I would never go to school for nursing. It's really about figuring out who you are. We all were given talents. Like God gave each one of us talents and all of our talents may be different from one another. Your strong suit may not be my strong suit. It's like you meet people. Some people are good at networking. Some people are good at talking. Some people are good at selling themselves. Some people are not. Some people are extroverts. Some people are introverts. That's how it's supposed to go. We all have different paths. We all have different things about us that make us different. No matter how weird you are, no matter how quirky you are, you can always have an audience for whatever it is that you want to do. Stop trying to take on the identity of somebody else that's not even you. Stop trying to act like other people. You see this all the time on YouTube. Okay, I did that. So I'm going to go in with a dark shade. Actually, I'm going to go over where I just did that with this brown in the same area because I want it to be really, really dark, really deep. You see this on YouTube when you see people trying to create either like either couple pages or certain pages just like another person or trying to act like somebody else when you being yourself is really what the that's the t right there you being yourself you're like nobody else in this world no matter how weird you are no matter how crazy you are no matter how messed up you think you are you can connect with somebody it's somebody out here just as weird as you that feels like damn i'm not the person that's weird and you don't know what you can create to help that person or how you can help the next person but you sitting up here trying to be somebody else, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You have to assess what you're good at and go with that. You will start to realize, when I look back over my life, like when I look back when I was younger, the stuff that I do now is tied to the stuff I did in the past. Like, okay, I had this job because I needed to know this. Or this happened because of this. Everything is a timeline. And everything happens for a reason. That is just how it goes. I feel like people are losing sight of themselves and who they are. You need to really like stay in your lane. Like what is it that you want to do and stick with that. You don't have to wear everyone's hat. Some people were built to do 23 jobs at one time. Some people weren't. And you have to know what you're good at. I'm going to go on with this tempting color in the peach palette. And I'm not saying, I want to kind of say like, I'm not saying, oh, you can't do certain stuff if you want to do it. Like, if you're passionate about something, okay, and you want to learn how to do it, then okay, that's totally fine. But everything ain't for everybody. That's just what it is. So, I also equate this to when you, when you see people that do hair. So, you know, everybody know those people that do hair that don't have a license that just been doing hair since they was a kid and they're really good at it. We all know those people. And then you have those people that go to school and they're not really passionate about hair. They just doing it because such and such makes so much money doing hair and it shows and they work. It shows and they work. 
how many people have you seen on Instagram? You'd be like, what the hell is that and why? And then they really want to, they really want to like have clients and or they put stuff up that's just so messed up. So I'm just going in the actual like corner and then going down into my lid. They post pictures that are like messed up, the hair messed up, the person got heat damage. Or you've ever been in a situation where, especially down here in Georgia, you hire somebody for something like, oh, I want to get my lashes done, I want to get my hair done, and they're late to the appointment. They act like you owe them something. They're late. They never apologize to take any money off. They feel entitled. Um, they don't care about the health of natural hair, of your actual hair. They just want to put the solians in, and they're not good with natural hair at all. I feel like that all ties into you not, you're not supposed to be doing hair, period. <laughs> Because I feel like with anything that you want to do or anything that you're passionate about, you will want to be better at it. You can say what you want to say. People can say what they want to say. But it's some people I, I watch on YouTube that been you doing YouTube longer than me. And the content they put out is trash. Girl. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to sit here and like, not even trash to the point of, okay, it's trash. Like, oh, the quality. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about it's no reason why you posting the video and you got shit all in your background and you haven't cleaned it up. Cleaning up your background is, doesn't take much, but it shows how much you care really about your videos and your content and being better. It just shows. What are you telling the universe when you sitting there like, oh, um, yeah, I'm just going to have all this shit in my background. I'm not going to clean it up. I don't care. You can say what you want to say, but your actions show otherwise, period point blank and yet then you wonder why your channel not growing people can see that people can see when you being fake and when you're not being yourself i feel like i've jumped topics like staying in your lane correlates to you wanting to do a better job maybe that should be the topic of this you can't help but evolve and change in something that you want to do if i'm continuously doing my makeup i can't help but change and evolve I know that with whatever I pursue and whatever I want to do, I will have to be educated. I will have to go take classes and learn and educate myself. But that drive comes from doing something that you really want to do. If I didn't really want to do makeup and I was just trying to do it just to make money, like, oh shit, such and such do such and such makeup and I can make this amount of money if I really put my mind to it, my makeup always going to be fucked up. It's never going to be up to the person that's passionate about what they're doing, period. People that do nails, nails be messed up, can't even, oh girl, please. I don't want you to do nothing for me if you're not passionate about your work. Don't do nothing for me. Money is not everything. It's just not, in the long run, you will feel like, okay, okay, I got money, but I'm not really happy doing what I'm doing, what I'm, what I'm doing. And it, it will show itself. And things get hard. Like, okay, so I make YouTube videos. I know people that make YouTube videos. People that blog. People that do this, this, and that. Times get hard and you do get discouraged sometimes. But if you're not really passionate about it, you will definitely fall. Like, in the time of... In the time of... I'm trying to say in the time of need. Well, in the time of whatever it is that you may be going through or however you're feeling. So, you won't persevere through. I just said this. Like, you won't persevere through. You won't. You'll be like, well, you know, um, my business not doing how I thought it was going to do. So, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop marketing it. It just ain't working out for me. My YouTube ain't growing how I thought it was going to grow. Such and such got a million subscribers already. And they started in June. And I just started. I started before them. And my channel ain't growing how it's supposed to grow. So, I'm just going to stop. When you passionate about something, that shit don't matter. You're not just going to stop. You're not just going to stop. You're not. You're not just going to be like, well, let me give up. I'm just taking some concealer and I'm going to put this like on the front of my lid and to the dark shade just to just so it can be really pigmented when I put the gold shade on. I don't want to just put it directly on my lid because I feel like you're not going to really be able to see it like that. And if you're younger, I'm 28 years old. I still don't have everything figured out, in all honesty. 
But if you're younger, don't beat yourself up because you may not know which, what it is you really want to do. It will definitely come to you. I promise you. It will definitely come to you. But don't jump into somebody else's identity thinking you're going to be successful at something that you're not even supposed to be doing. That's not how that works. It don't work like that. Always be true to yourself and be about yourself and know what it is that you want to do and stick to that. We live in a day and age where you see all these people on social media and you're like, if I do that, that should be easy. It's not easy to sell hair. It's not easy to sell lashes. It's not easy to sell waist trainers, sell tea, sell whatever you sell. It's just not. And I think people think they're going to start some shit and not, and not put the work in for it. Like, you got to put the work in. And if you try something and you figure it out it ain't for you, then that's fine. Don't beat yourself up about it. You're doing better than the person that's sitting on the couch not trying. Don't sit there and be like, oh my God. I st damn, I started selling weave and I don't like this. Don't be afraid to start over. Who, who, you're doing better than the person that's not trying at all. You're doing shit. This, that's a life. It's trial and error. Just like the whole fashion blog thing. Now, what if I was like, I'm still going to do my fashion blog and I don't even like shopping. I probably would have stopped posting by now. Everybody was built. Everybody was given a natural talent for something. Some Everybody is good at something. You know? I feel like I've surrounded myself with people that do YouTube and I feel like Unique is good with like computer stuff. She's good with all this different stuff. It's, it's just so, people are good with stuff and we're all supposed to work together to help each other. That's just how that works. That's how it goes. I always mess up on this eye. I don't know if it's because I get anxious or what it is. But we're going to claim that I'm going to do good on this one today. And also, don't let anybody rush you or make you feel like you need to be doing something when you feel like it's not the right time to be doing it. But that also comes with being in tune with yourself and having and listening to your intuition. I found myself listening to people because all oh, they did business before and they know. And that wasn't the right move for me or I shouldn't have did it so quickly or I shouldn't have did this, this and that. I should have waited a little while longer. And you have to go with what you know. People on the outside looking in on your life, they don't know what the hell they what they really talking about. They can only base it off of what you show them or tell them. They don't really know. So I'm starting to trust my gut and trust my intuition when it comes to things. And it's crazy because I say like stay in your own lane and know what you're good at. I know I'm good at beauty. I know I like beauty. I know that it's something that I'm passionate about and I want to be educated on. So that's how I know that it's something that I don't know if I'll always be on YouTube. I don't know if I'll be doing tutorials on YouTube. I don't know what this path is going to take me, but I know I kind of get the gist of what it is that I like, and I'll go with that. I'm not going to be no fashion blogger. That, 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 that ain't, it's not fulfilling to me. Some people have a, a knack for things, like... I feel like you miss out on what you're supposed to be doing, doing some shit that you ain't even supposed to be doing. Now, what if I was over there like, oh, no, I ain't going to do my makeup like that. I'm just going to just be doing my makeup plain and then I'm just going to find outfits. But I don't really like finding outfits, but I, I just like taking pictures. No, ma'am. No. And I don't want you all to get this mixed up with you thinking because you're in your passion, you're not going to have to. You're not going to have those days where you don't want to be doing something. Like, I have days when I'm like, I don't feel like filming. Shit. I don't feel like editing. I don't feel like doing none of this. I just want to sit in the bed. I just want to do this, this, and that. But then your passion is what drives you <laughs> to be like, okay. Because feelings are just feelings, and that's all they are. So you have to learn how to manage your feelings when, even when you don't feel like it. Because if you're working for yourself, you really don't have no goddamn choice. Let's be serious. You really don't have no choice when you're working for yourself. Like... Oh, I don't feel like it today. No, that ain't how that works. So, 
Because if you was working for somebody else, your ass would take you, you would go to work and do what you were supposed to do. Like, oh, I gotta be working at eight, you there on time, smiling. But when you working for yourself, talking about, oh, I don't feel like it. No, that ain't how that work. It's not. It's not. So I don't want you all to get mixed up with, oh, don't do something because I don't feel like doing it. And, because, okay, so like me saying the fashion blog thing. So I said the fashion blog thing, and I'm like, okay, if I still was fashion blogging, but I don't like shopping. So that is an obstacle, right? I genuinely don't like shopping, though. No, I don't. So that's not a good path for me to take to me. I feel like things that you're supposed to be doing kind of comes easy to you in a sense until you learn how to be better in, that, in whatever it may be. So when you find out what it is that you want to do, so that's just like me saying, I don't like making makeup videos, but I want to make makeup videos. So I have to train myself to do shit when I don't feel like it. So that's two different things. I wet my brush and this is the Sonia Kashuk palette I always use. Is good, and it has the gold in there. So we're gonna use the gold. And I'm just going to pat that over where I put the concealer. I'm gonna do multiple coats because I want it to be really pigmented. feel like staying in your lane is really important because when you get out of off the path that you're supposed to be on it just won't be good for you in the long run it i keep saying this but you will always tell on yourself you always will know what you're good at and go with that I used to work at the nursing home and when I worked at the nursing home, I worked in the kitchen. And you could always tell the nurses that that didn't want to be nurses. You can always tell. They don't want to deal with their patients. They don't want to do certain stuff. Um, they putting all the work off on the CNA, but they still getting the money. So they're there just for the money. I don't know about you, but I don't want to live an unfulfilled life. I don't want to be like, get to heaven and then it's like, Okay, you ain't did nothing I told you to do. You ain't did nothing. God is like, you ain't did nothing I told you to do. You um could have fulfilled so much. You could have did so much. You could have been happy in doing something that you wanted to do. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. And if you don't know like what you're supposed to be doing or know what your purpose is, ask God. He will show you. Ask God. Spend time with him so you can hear his voice. And he would show you. I, I often equate your intuition being God speaking to you. And I, I swear by that. If you ever think about it. When you when you did something wrong. And you'll be like something told me not to do that. But you did it anyway. And then you reap the consequences from what you did. It's God speaking to you. You going the opposite way of what you, where you're supposed to be going won't work. It just won't work. You probably supposed to help somebody else or I never really understood when I was at church and people would be and they would say, you know, you were supposed to help someone else with your blessing or what you have. If you miss out, if you live your whole life doing what you want to do, then how are you supposed to fulfill what you were supposed to fulfill, which is supposed to affect other people and help other people? I feel like this topic is just all over the place, but I'll sum it up at the end. I'm just blending, 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 blending this dark shade into the gold okay so these are my eyes I'm gonna put on um, wing liner I don't know if I should do it on camera cuz I, I always I've been messing up my wing liner lately y'all and it's not a good look like it's really not a good look and I think I want to do like the smoky eyes underneath here we just experiment at this point at this point because I really don't know. <laughs> I'm really trying to figure out, but I really don't know. And if you really think about it, you being in your purpose and you doing what you're supposed to do is really worth more than any money could ever be. 
because you're gaining experience. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's fulfilling. It's the difference between having money and being fulfilled. Now, if you're fulfilled with what you do, then okay. So, if you follow, like, certain people, like, I follow or Lori Swank. Um, it's another girl I follow. And they have boutiques. What they naturally were given, they can, they work with that and that's what their job is. Oh, Lori is a stylist. She can naturally put outfits together. She now has a boutique. It kind of goes together. If you look back on people's lives, you'll be like, okay, so you did this, this, and that. So that makes sense for you to do that. And that's normally how it goes. Now, not to say you can't switch up in the middle. Like, okay, I don't like doing this at all. I'm about to switch it up. But what I'm saying is, find what it is that you're naturally talented at. What are you good at? You're good at something. I talk to so many people that's way younger than me and they're like, I don't know what I'm good at. Like, you really have to sit down and figure out, like, okay, are you funny? Are you good at technology? Are you good with numbers? What is it that you're good at? And everybody is not meant to be an entrepreneur. I know we live in a day and age where everybody's like, entrepreneurship is where it's at. But entrepreneurship is a lot of work. Shit. Sometimes I really wish I was the not type of nine to five person, but I'm not. That's just not me. That's not who I am. But some people are a nine to five worker, and they and they enjoy climbing the corporate ladder, and that's what they want to do. That's what they enjoy. So you can't knock nobody for doing nothing that they enjoy. Like I said earlier, everybody is not meant to have the same characteristics. They're not. I still feel like this lash is too long. I need to cut it. It shouldn't be hard for you to be yourself. That's why I try to be very transparent on my channel. You not, you'll never come to my channel and be like, how I live and how I, what I show y'all is what I really live and how I really live and what's really going on in my life. I'm not finna fake the funk. I'm not finna do none of that. I'm sorry. And a lot of people have a me, millions of followers and subscribers and they're not the, their true selves or they know how to do whatever to get those those people to watch their channel but i pride myself on transparency and being exactly who i am whether i'm sad that day whether i'm upset that day whatever it is and nobody is me simply nobody is me uh, i watch other people's channel and no one is me everyone is different everybody has their own twist to what they do you will go on some people's channel and they're so creative and they think of different ways to do things it's, a, it's room for everybody to do what you're supposed to do. So don't be afraid to be yourself and be in your lane and own who you are and what you're good at. Um, just because you're not good as good as somebody else in something doesn't mean that you won't be good in that. In fact, we get so caught up on what such and such doing. Oh, they sell hair? Oh, she making money. She got the Gucci bag with the Giuseppe's. Oh, I'm about to sell hair too. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Nobody ever told you to sell hair. I never wanted to start a business if I wasn't passionate about it. Lashes, cosmetics is something that I'm passionate about. So therefore, although I get in my slumps where I'm like, okay, I don't know how to market this. I don't know how to do this, this, and that. I kind of snap out of it from time to time and I try to figure it out, you know? Like, I need to figure this out if I really want to do this. And I really have to, it's certain things that I have to know and certain things that I have to learn. I never wanted to own a business if I wasn't passionate about the product, period. I never did. I never had that urge to be like, I feel like with anything that you want to do, you should want to put your best foot forward. And I learned that from my leak. You should always want to put your best foot forward, no matter what your best is. Your best may not be my best. Like, okay, I may not have as much equipment as the next YouTuber, but for my for my level and what I have to work with, I put out the best content that I know how to put out. And then eventually that evolves as you want to get better. If you do something long enough, you can't help but get better. That's how it works. And if you're doing something for so long and you're not getting any better and you're still trash as fuck, that may mean that you're not supposed to be doing that. If you've been doing hair 23 years and you're still, your hair still looks like trash, maybe that means that you need to change up. You need to change it up. Change up. You need to change it up. You don't have a, a knack for that. Period. Now, it is a market for anything, but you can tell those people that are not passionate about what they're doing. 
you can always tell. You can tell people that do nails, people that do hair, people that do lash extensions, people that do whatever. Sell weave, sell cosmetics, sell tea, sell it works, whatever. You can always tell. Period. Alright, y'all. So I'm about to um I'm about to do my face. I just really want people to stop bullshitting themselves and be the best them. Like, stop trying to be like other people. Stay in your lane. Stay in what you good at. I'm just going to put my concealer on while I'm still talking. Stop trying to be like the next person. Stop trying to be like Ming Lee. You're not Ming Lee. Make your own identity. Now it's okay for you to be like, okay, I'll look up to this person because they a boss. They do this, this, and that. But it ain't one way to do something. It's not. You hear people's stories. I listened to this podcast. Um, it's called How I Built This by NPR. And he interviews all these business owners. And the one thing they have in common is that they had a dream and they went for it. They knew what worked well with them and who they were and what and they believed in that dream and they went for it. And no matter, no matter what anyone said, they still were able to implement whatever it was. Half the time, people was like, you crazy. If they would go to investors, you're crazy. That idea is stupid as hell. That's stupid. That's dumb. Your wife is looking at you like you're crazy. Your husband is looking at you like you're crazy. But you believe in it so much that you do not care what nobody else says. And if you're doing something that you're not really passionate about, you're going to buckle. If you come to me with your dream and be like, Alexis, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to start a yogurt business. And I'm like, what? That's stupid. There's so many yogurt companies. Then you it get in your head and you like, damn, maybe I can't do it. But if you're passionate enough about yogurt, you're going to do it regardless. You don't care what nobody say. If you really feel like, shit, my yogurt is the best yogurt. Like, I really feel like I want to do this. This is what I feel. This is my intuition. I'm good at this, this, and that. I'm good at selling. I'm good at making yogurt. I'm good at doing this. So why wouldn't I start a yogurt business? I can't talk you out of that. But if you working, you working into something that's not, you're not supposed to be doing, then you're going to be talked out of it. You're not going to persevere through. Or if you do persevere through, you're still going to be doing a bullshit ass job. That's just really what it boils down to. So it's so vital that you really find what it is. What is it? What is it about you that's different? What is it about you? What are you good at? Are you good with talking with people? Are you good at this? Are you good at that? What are you good at? And then making a revenue based off of that. Shit. Then you will have those people that they can go into any business and rock the damn business because of their work ethic and who they are and this, this, and that. I have to have a passion for whatever it is that I'm doing. I can't just... That just ain't me. It's just not me. It's not. All right, let me go get my beauty blender. I'm about to do my face. Then I'm going to come back. We're going to smoke out this under eye. Now, I never did that before, but we're going to try to do it. And then, yeah, we're going to do like some, like, whew, like contour, contour, contour. <laughs> And then, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put it together. I, so I'll be back in a minute after I do my face. All right, y'all. So I put a little wrap on my head. This wrap has lint balls on there. So <laughs> I may change it. But I'm going to um, line my waterline. And I feel like I'm going to go under a little bit. That looks so good. I just like the, how precise it is. It does define the eyes for real, for real. I'm just going to take this little thing and I'm going to... Smoke out the eye. So this comes on my eyeliner. I use the Maybelline Define Line. And I'm gonna, yeah, smoke that out. I never used that thing. I never knew what it was for. I'm gonna go over again. And then I'm gonna smoke out my eye. So smoke is just blending it out, like blending Damn, I just damn near, I just broke my dang on pencil. So this is it smoked out and this is it regular. Smoked, regular. And I think I'm going to put some black underneath just to really smoke it out. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side.
I need to buy a new battery for my camera. Cause yeah, it's about to die. It was about to die the other day, uh, yesterday. And then I'm gonna smoke it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the peach palette. And it says tempting, this tempting color. And I'm gonna take a brush, let's see. And I'm going to go underneath my eyes. Whew. See how different that is, how smoked out that is compared to this one. And I'm going to do the same on here. Irritate my eyes. Okay. Oh, that look good, y'all. Yeah. So this is the makeup look. I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I think I want to highlight just right here. Cause I don't think I want to do a highlight cause it's supposed to be like a sexy look. So we'll just highlight like the nose, this, 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 and this. And this is the finished makeup look. So I like this look a lot. If my hair wrap has some lint on there, y'all gotta excuse that. <laughs> Cause I don't have another hair. I'm trying to like find scars, but hold on. I guess. <laughs> So this is the makeup look and my battery is about to die on my camera. So I hope you all found this video to be very, very helpful. Um, just to make a long story short, find what it is that you're passionate about. If you have to write out, like let me write out what I'm good at. And then figure out what it is that you like to do. Try different things because you may not like the first thing that you may try. So try different things and figure out what it is that you want to do. Once you figure that out, work your ass off and put out your best work and put your best foot forward at all times. And you will eventually reap what you have sown. You have to put the work in in order to be better, in order to become better. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing because what everybody else is doing may not be what you're supposed to be doing. Focus on you and internally knowing what you want and who you are. So I love you all so much. I hope you all love this video. I love this makeup look so much. I don't want to take it off. Like, it's bomb. It's it's just bomb. I love you all and I'll talk to you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with one of your friends, leave me a comment so that I know that you like this video, and yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye, guys.